one thing I actually wanted to talk about today was this funny, well, I wouldn't, I don't know if some people find it funny, but this thing online, it's called the Woke Barbers Club, mm. right? Which is where like, you have, you know how barber shops, you walk in and you say, hey boss, can I have skin fade or whatever the haircut is that you want? You sit down, he you cuts your hair, boom, pay, and then you leave. <clears throat> With the Woke Barbers Club, you sit down and then the barber says to you, do I have your consent to touch your hair? And like, there's loads of barbers around the world now that are starting to do this, particularly in America, where they're like, oh, can I touch your hair? Can I touch your hair? It's like, bro, I walked into a barber shop, yeah. right? I want mm. my hair cut. So yeah, you can fucking touch my hair. Like, you don't need to ask me for that. It's just another way of like these snowflake people to, I don't know, do you need consent now from a barber to touch your hair? Yeah. I think that's weird. It is weird. I wonder what is what the reason behind it is. It must be some sort of virtue signaling. Because like you said, if you walk into the barber shop, you sit in the barber chair, they put the thing around you. I'm not gonna be like, Oh no, don't cut my hair. Just let me sit <laughs> here. Bro. Let, let Skip me, me to chill, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You could be chat I've been having a bad week, you know. <laughs> I'm here for the vibes. Like what it's like, yeah. do we need also, do we actually need to give consent for every little thing? Isn't us being in the barber shop consent? Yeah, it's like uh, the it's implied consent. It's like when a doctor goes to take your blood pressure and you put your arm out for him, he takes that as it, he or she takes that as implied consent um, to take your blood pressure because you've you've done that. You've not specifically said, "Oh yeah, please do it," but because of that, it's the same thing, bro. You're sat in the barber chair. What else is he meant to do, bro? Uh, it's in in the modern world, especially in the media that we we're trying to get into podcasting things like this like to be the, the, the culture we are going into you're going to be paranoid to say anything yeah it's like the, the freedom of speech is going to die out with things like this like this is a threat to freedom of speech in mm. my opinion where you can't like like what it makes no sense yeah. it actually makes no sense if i'm going to a boxing ring and I would start sparring someone. Oh, do I have a consent to punch you? What? So uh, do I need to do that now as well? Everything, everything. Do I need to now be asking for consent? But if, if I sit down in a barber chair and they ask me if they, they have consent to cut my hair, I'm throwing hands. I can't lie. <laughs> what do you mean? Do you have consent? Why do you think I'm I would? Here? I would actually yeah. walk out. Like if they said, can, can I touch your hair? Yeah, I wouldn't trust that person to cut my hair. Like what are you doing? If it's... In, anything else apart from my hair yeah exactly. they should yeah, have bro, bro. They should. Bro, let's not go there do you, do you get what I'm, no, no, I'm just saying like to be the devil's advocate right do I have consent it makes to sense. touch your wall they, they should ask that they should ask that if that's what they're worried about right it's like oh someone might get like rattled or anything like that but if if they're touching my hair you went for that yeah it's just silly it's unnecessary it's adding extra step, steps to life that just don't need to be there do you know what I mean even though it might seem like such a small thing it's just completely unnecessary. It's like wasted energy. Like imagine your life is a machine and you're trying to uh, run it as efficiently as possible. Why are you adding inefficient steps to it for absolutely no reason? Like what do we think the actual benefits or the pros of that are? I don't understand. I don't think there are any pros to that. Not to this, the, this context. Yeah. yeah. I'm just, just trying to think maybe it makes people feel at ease or something but if you sat in the barber chair like how is that going to make you feel any better yeah it's like going into a taxi and then getting to your destination and then calling the police and saying you got kidnapped by a taxi driver <laughs> do you know what I mean yeah oh, because, because I, never, I never said to the guy when I sat yeah. down I didn't consent to being taken even yeah. though you'd put it on your Uber app exactly exactly yeah and then you get to the destination and you're like oops I didn't ask for this I just sat in the car, you did all the rest. Yeah, I think it's a sign of our culture now, which is kind of sad. And is it though? I think it is. Or do, or do you think just got minority of just crazy people that thing. are just looking for problems that are not even there and they look, they're coming up with solutions for things that are not even problems? It's true that, you, I don't know if it's a minority, but think about 10 years ago, would we have been having this consent debate with like a barber shop? No, we wouldn't. I think society has gotten more and more snowflakey as time's gone on. We know this. And I do think it is a societal problem right now. It's because people don't know where to draw the line. Like, obviously, you need to have very important conversations around consent. But then why are you taking that to, like, a barber shop? 
Do you know what I mean? Like consent just in life and like relationships and things like that. Those are very important conversations to be had because a lot of people don't understand it really, especially young boys. They don't really grasp the idea of consent properly. Um, but then in a barber shop, like, wow. yeah. Yeah, I totally like, agree it, it with you. It can't be extrapolated to everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's because, again, it's that conversation we had a couple of weeks ago. People just do things because they're told to do so. These people have probably been told, like, oh, asking for consent is a good thing. They don't understand it. Why? They don't understand why. So they just do it in all aspects of their life instead of getting to grips with it properly. Exactly. And it's a distraction from the real problems where young men do not understand... Um, consent in where it actually matters which is relationships and things of that nature especially romantic relationships where they don't understand boundaries and things of that nature so why are we not coming up with <clears> solutions <throat> for that but because that's a real issue a real problem right a lot of people have had traumatic experiences and gone through assault that that's what we should be focusing on why are we bring in this to barbershop like you said yeah. it actually makes no sense like the, like it's just a distraction in my opinion these it's people probably like a bit of virtue signaling as well like oh look i asked for consent in all aspects of my life yeah like, i'm such a good person yeah but then if you had to ask for consent for literally everything you'd get nothing done oh can i can i pick up this mug can i drink this water can i shake can i shake your hand that would be the one that would irritate me the most yeah. like doing this yeah. that's con that's my consent shake yeah. my hand. implied consent yeah. yeah and my my language would be you know, if I'm not comfortable, if I'm a girl and you put your hand, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, and that's it. That's the know, end of the conversation. You don't need to ask me. You don't need to ask me. Huh? You, you put your hand out. I'm like, no. Yeah. 